Yes. Go ahead. Thank you for the presentation. It was great and really interesting for me. So, what are the possible risks in the future uh, from the automation? So, it has many, many benefit, benefits yeah. here, but uh, what are the possible risks and so what are mitigation plans? Uh, I think uh, the most risk uh, things is uh, how to react uh, when the system is down. Mm -hmm. yeah. In future, if the system is down, we should uh, change the mode to manual drive to manual driving. So in the future, the most risk is the conditions and the, the system is down. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if the government wants to promote the autonomous vehicle in their country or city, do they need to force everyone to use autonomous vehicle, like connected system, that vehicle can sense other vehicle, or people can use autonomous vehicle and others can use, also use still use traditional vehicle? Uh, now the... Uh, I can for, for these seven test bands, uh, it is a mixed traffic condition. It means uh, it includes uh, connected vehicles and uh, not connected vehicles. And uh, in future, such California, it may also include autonomous uh, vehicles. So now it is com it is mixed. But uh, in future, such as after 2023, it may be fully used autonomous vehicles. So any problem? Um, regarding using what is called again automotive autonomous vehicles and traditional vehicles, so there there is no problem just mixing them together. Is there any problem to mix them together? Uh, now uh, now we uh, uh, based on the experiments uh, because we only include uh, very few uh, connected vehicles. And uh, there uh, hasn't found uh, very important uh, problems. But in future, if include uh, more and more uh, connected vehicles, the problems may, uh, may may emerge. But now we can't find uh, uh, some problems. But that means that 100% autonomous penetration is like in US. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's going to be very expensive, I think. Uh, so? the, the cars are going to be very expensive. Yeah. Uh, and it's not going to be able to acquire it for normal people or low income people. No, you may, maybe. But, uh, but that is a bit but of out, of your, out, of your, out of your scope of research. But, uh, uh, yeah. it's, just, it's just like. Uh, 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 in 19. In 1920s and the 1930s, traditional vehicles are also very expensive, uh, very expensive for for us. But uh, uh, now the traditional vehicles seem not very expensive. Uh, this is maybe uh, suitable for autonomous. In future, the autonomous the, the cost of autonomous vehicles may be reduced. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yeah, uh, I just want to uh, like add a comment on uh, dash race uh, classroom. So I think maybe in um, both the risks. So like maybe in the like bad situation, maybe like raining, like heavy snowing, mm -hmm. then you probably don't trust like self driving systems. Maybe you prefer like manual drive. Uh, also, so I, I heard that like there's some companies they already use like self driving system to their like cars. Mm -hmm. I heard of that. I, I'm not sure, like, I think I saw news before saying like some company, like a car manufacturing company, they already use this technology to their like, vehicles. I don't know which one, I don't remember. Mm. Is this like... Oh, autonomous vehicle? Yes. Yeah. Like self-driving. I think now uh, Google has uh, one model, and uh, uh, in my last uh, presentation, I how I, I introduced uh, Uber. Uber has also its autonomous vehicles. And uh, so basically, now we, we cannot buy this type of car in the market, right? Uh, it's now, no, no. Okay, it's, it's not available now. 
in the near future would you be available or in the far future? <laughs> <laughs> far future. Far, far away. Far, far away. Yeah. You want to buy one for this one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you so much.